The decision to halt production shouldn't be a surprise. Boeing's been building the 737 MAX even though every country in the world grounded them nine months ago. With a backlog of 400 jets now built but not deliverable to airline customers, the mega manufacturer had to stop. Suspending production of a, of a commercial aircraft is something that has been very rarely done. It truly is an unprecedented decision. Meanwhile, carriers like Air Canada and WestJet still can't use the maxes they have and likely won't be able to before March at the earliest, as Boeing tries to convince regulators they fixed the plane's problems. Problems widely acknowledged to be connected to two crashes, one in Indonesia, another in Ethiopia over the span of just five months, prompting a grounding many believe should have come sooner, allowing these planes to continue to fly as the FAA did under the assumption Boeing would fix the problem and pilots would get extra training is malfeasance at its worst. U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein said just last week, amid revelations the FAA, the American regulator, predicted the MAX would face one deadly crash every two to three years. The decision to stop making new 737 MAXs does not come with any layoff notices, at least not yet. Though both Boeing's stock price and bottom line have slipped, the giant firm is still expected to survive. The MAX, though, once Boeing's biggest seller, has plenty of turbulence ahead. It's one thing to convince regulators the plane is safe, another thing to convince passengers. David Common, CBC News, Toronto. And dozens of those grounded planes are right here in Canada, divided among three airlines, all waiting to see what comes next. Air Canada has 24 737 MAXs with back orders for another 26. WestJet was using 13, has another 37 on order. And low-cost carrier Sunwing has four in its fleet with two more set to come.